Every winter brings with it its traditions, including walking on frozen parts of Lake Ontario. But open bodies of water such as the one behind me, well that means increased safety risks. A picturesque view from the City News Chopper capturing a partially frozen Toronto Harbour. Also visible is where the ferry goes to and from Wards Island. But on the ground, a bit of a deceptively different perspective. This recent Instagram video sparking safety questions after a woman walks on a frozen patch. The poster replying to comments saying it was a shallow area and ankle deep. They weren't the only ones on the ice though. The same user capturing people skating near open water. If you are skating in an area of a lake, like Lake Ontario, and you see open water not far, then that's not safe ice because that water flows and it can go underneath the ice where you are. Barbara Byers at the Life Saving Society reacting to the posts. Unless you're really, really sure about the quality of the ice, it's better to go in out to an outdoor rink. Halton Police also issuing a warning about ice shelves developing on the lake, such as formations like this one in Oakville. Footsteps leading out to the edge and cracks visible. Meanwhile, back in Toronto's east end, the Marine Unit out training to perform rescues should someone get into trouble. They typically pull 20 to 25 people from the water each winter. Constable Kevin Lee echoing concerns about the current conditions. Within the city of Toronto, it's, it's, it's even less likely to be able to guarantee safe ice because there's warm water outflows that are underneath the ice, deteriorating it from the bottom up. Lee also pointing to saltwater runoff going into the lake from catch basins. Sun and snow on the ice surface contribute to its weakening as well. Officers are encouraging people to stay off lakes and ponds. There's not a lot of warning. Like, it's not like in a movie where there's a big crack all of a sudden and you got time to get out of the way. One step and the next one you're you're down in the water. So Constable, if somebody falls through the ice in Lake Ontario or elsewhere, what should they do? Okay, well, the first thing you would want to do would be to call 911 or, or get somebody else there to at least assist and assisting from shore is the best thing you can do because the person's just fallen through the ice they've made all the surrounding ice unstable the best thing to do is to be able to stay as far back from the opening as possible and if you can get anything that would give you some reach a branch a rope anything that you can get them to grab and pull them out from a distance for much more on this story go to citynews.ca in toronto for city news i'm nick westall